The measurement of a staircase provides a great example of how to use reference lines when laying things out. When we're interested in collecting measurements for a staircase, we would like to know the shape of the staircase. It's not important to record every single detail, but it is important to record the locations of the stairs. We need to know the relative positions in space. In order to do that, we need to take our measurements relative to reference lines. I prefer to start this process by measuring from the floor up to the height of each stair tread at the leading edge of the stair tread. Note that our measurements are from the stair tread to the floor. The floor is not a reference line. After recording the height of each stair tread to the floor, we also need to record their relative position along a horizontal axis. Taking all of our measurements from the same point, I prefer to start this process by using a laser level to shoot lines down from the stair treads to the floor. I prefer taking all of our measurements from the bottom stair. Finally, we record measurements from the floor to a reference line. By projecting a horizontal laser beam across the floor in the vicinity of where our stair tread height measurements were taken, we're able to record the distance between the floor and a level reference line. By combining the measured height of each stair with the difference between the floor and this level reference line, we're able to compensate for the irregularity which is inherent to the floor. It would not be sufficient to assume that the floor itself is level.